Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And today I need to talk to you guys about season objectives. A new, brand new feature for FIFA Ultimate Team this year, FIFA 20. And I need to talk with you guys especially about the market movements. Now I'm releasing this video, and you guys know this, this video is going out before FIFA 20 actually drops. That's why we are looking at FIFA 19. But this is how, I mean, I want to look at it this way, and I want to kind of talk to you guys about what could be happening with these season rewards based on what we saw in the beta. Um, and then we'll talk about a few things for the rest of this week as we're going to see a lot of footage from the capture event that happened in Amsterdam this past weekend. Um, so a lot of that stuff that we find out from those recordings, I'm sure somebody that went to the event is going to put out some sort of information about the season objectives, about the milestones, about the rewards for all that stuff. And that's going to be important to watch for if we can get any hint of what those rewards could be like at the beginning of FIFA. And that's going to be the uh, the biggest thing that I'm talking about today is just the market impact of some of those rewards and some of those objectives, because that's going to be another way where we can make coins and we can get packs early on in FIFA at a pretty easy and, um, attainable rate like in terms of time because before now all we've been able to do is maybe a few SBCs like the advanced SBCs if they drop them right away um, but other than that during EA access and early game the easiest way to earn coins is just by trading and playing playing games getting packs by playing games and getting rewards but if we have objectives that we can grind to spend time grinding season objectives that maybe pay out like a 25k pack or a 35k pack within the first week of FIFA, that is, that's big time because getting a pack like that and having the opportunity to pack even a bunch of lower rated gold players, 81s and 82s that might go for like five to six, 7,000 coins, you hit two of those, that's very, very worth your time for some of these objectives. So I wanna look at a few things that I have found here on this website, which is fifaauteam.com. And basically this is a listing of all the objectives for season one which was in the beta. So these are some of the examples of the objectives that were inside of the beta. Now obviously I don't have a lot of screenshots or a lot of pictures from this because all of this stuff so far for, um, for season objectives we've only seen it in the beta. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these packs in the beta were tradable. That's another point that has to be explained as well. If these are untradable then it's really probably not worth doing too much. If they're untradable these packs will be perfect to try to complete around a big time period like Footmas heading into team of the year where you want to save up packs. These untradeable packs would be great for that or other promos throughout the year. Um, so they might be something to save if they end up being untradeable. So we'll have to kind of watch that. But you see here, this is the just play season um, objective. Win three matches in rivals or friendlies versus online opponents. Win five matches in rivals. Win 10 matches in rivals win 20 matches and rivals and for the group rewards that you got for this uh this is almost like a very weekly objective type thing right here win 20 matches kind of a stepping stone your group reward was a t rare players pack with 25,000 coins all you had to do was basically win so 8 10 20 so 38 matches of rivals friendlies or online opponents if you won 38 matches in those game modes you were able to get a rare player pack and 25,000 coins. So if you think about it, that's basically weekend, like a weekend league of 30 games plus eight extra games. And boom, you have uh, a 50K pack and 25,000 coins, which is actually uh, you know, even better than some of the weekend league rewards that you can get. If you play 30 games in the weekend league, now obviously you have to win 38 games. So maybe this reward is actually kind of legit. If you have to win 38 games, that could take some people, it could take them 40 games to do that. Some people, it might take them over 100 games. It just depends on the player. And that's what you have to really factor in with some of these season objectives. And when we see these come out onto FIFA Ultimate Team, we're really going to have to factor in how attainable they are for each person. Now, I'm sure some of them are going to be attainable for everybody. Uh, some of them are going to be attainable a lot easier for some people than others in terms of having to win games because when it comes down to winning games, not everybody is the best at that. Um, you know, there's people on very broad ranges of skill levels. Even watching this video uh, for the audience that I have, 
you know, there's probably somebody in here that plays a full weekend league and they can get silver one and they really have to try hard to get to silver one. And there's some people that can't even make it into the weekend league. That's fine. Keep working at it. Keep grinding the game. Um, but that being said, if you have an objective like this just play where you have to win 38 matches of rivals online friendly games or online opponents, and even this, if it's versus friendlies, if it's versus online friendlies, uh, you could you could like juice this like you could totally ho hop in with a friend and you could do 38 games one person wins the first 38 or you just kind of mix it up and you just do like rage quits or whatever so that's one thing that we have to take in consideration with these two if you just hop in some matches with a friend and start rage quitting if you can actually do that with some of these because this description's kind of vicarious there where that might be a loophole then you might be able to get a pack very easy. So it's going to be something where it's kind of like an SBC. We're going to have to evaluate that when it comes out right away at the start of FIFA 20 and see if there are some um, some easy ways to attain some of these, maybe some loopholes and stuff like that. But again, I want to get into the market impact of this because we're going to keep looking through these and you're going to see that I know this is on the beta and this might not be the best example of what the rewards will actually be in ultimate team but they have to be pretty decent rewards right if they're going to take you a long time to complete even throughout maybe like half the game to complete 50k pack i mean so far you've seen all of these have like 50k packs and then some of them have uh packs inside of them so this one right here called uh, center back swaps score 15 goals in foot friendlies you get a premium gold pack assist five goals using league one players and swaps play lot play online only league one premium gold uh pack so this could be something that if like if you have a League One team, if you're building a League One starter team, that would be something that you could do very, very easily. So I think that a lot of people are going to, even without even trying to do these, people are going to eventually start completing these without even trying to, getting some packs, and that's going to always kind of divert their attention over into this the, the tab over here. I'm assuming that based on what the FIFA 20 menus looked like, all the objectives were in one place. Again, there were daily, there were weekly, and there were seasonal objectives and milestones as well. So I would assume that those will all be lumped together on the same part of the FIFA menus as they have been in the years past. But again, some more win a game by at least two goals in swaps, um, you know, stuff like that. Lone Hazard Storyline. So you get a, one of your rewards is the Elbow Drop a celebration, but you have to score finesse shot with Hazard and Rivals, get to assist with the same Rivals match with Hazard. So basically you're doing this one for an elbow drop celebration. So maybe this is an exclusive celebration that is in the game that you can only get if you do this objective, which is cool, right? That's kind of like the pay to skin aspect of FIFA. That is cool uh, if you're able to do that. But uh, it's also not something that we would be super interested in right away at the start of the game. I'm sure Lone uh, wants to watch Hazard is going to be out there for us to complete and stuff like that. Um, but if you're somebody who's a big time collectible person, these seasonal objectives might be a place where they, they put some of that stuff this year. And that's cool. I mean, we'll try to get some of those together as well on streams and on YouTube videos. And we'll talk about that stuff. But uh, at least right at the beginning, we're going to be worried about pack rewards and what these could do to the market again. I mean, look at this. If this exact objective comes out at the start of FIFA 20, you get a rare players pack, premium gold, a gold rare consumables, electrum players pack, premium gold, and a prime gold players pack. Win a match using a squad rating less than 85 on King of the Hill. So it looked like in a lot of these they were incorporating the, the new foot friendly modes, which I think they will continue to do that in the actual game. I think these will be pretty realistic to what we'll see in Ultimate Team. Um, and you know, to be honest, I think the rewards will be pretty much the same as well. Uh, getting a 50k pack for doing all of this stuff I mean, you're going to have to play a few games of King of the Hill, win 10 matches in foot friendlies, win three matches in King of the Hill playing online. So for some people, it's just going to be um, the rich get richer in terms of the guys that are the best in this game, the guys that play the game, you know, your elite top 100, maybe even some gold weekend league players are going to be able to complete these a lot faster than other people will. Um, but again, if it's a tradable pack, I would say at least try to get one of these guys win a match using a squad rating less than 85 on King of the Hill for a prime gold players pack. That's one game that you get a prime gold players pack for. If you're a decent player, um, you know, this is going to make games super sweaty in some of these modes. People are going to be, uh, you know, 
holding the ball, passing the ball around the back to try to get these objectives completed. But you're going to get a 45k pack for it. So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. And then there's this thing called season rewards. So there's season one here, and I'm not too sure what's what's going on with this. I'm not gonna. It says as you level up through the season, the bigger the challenges and the rewards will come. So this, it's it says completing objectives and earning XP. So this almost seems to me like the EA catalog type thing, which I'm not a huge fan of, because I love the old EA catalog. Because look, they have coin boost in here, a thousand coins for ten matches. So I don't know what they're gonna do with some of these season rewards. Um, but again, the biggest thing for this stuff is, especially at the start of the game, if there are coin rewards like this, 25,000 coins and a rare player's pack, if we have coins available and tradable, tradable quality packs, these objectives could be almost better or a very good supplemental thing to do with your EA Access 10 hours or um, right away when you start the game, in the midweek when you're playing some rivals, trying to rank up in rivals, or you're playing some um, some squad battles and you're trying to get into weekend league qualification, and there's a lot of stuff to do at the beginning of the game, this is another thing that we can do, um, depending on how good the rewards are right away, to possibly add some coins and some get, up, get some packs uh, on the market. Now, I will say one thing, if like 90% of these season rewards are completable within a week, even for some of the top tier players, some of those top tier players are going to see these rewards and they're going to go out and spam them and that's going to bring a lot of coins onto the game which is going to push a lot of the higher rated cards up even more even faster so if we get onto ea access on the 19th or maybe even on the 18th when we see these objectives and people can start formulating a plan if we get on the game and we see that over here in the weekly objectives tab in fifa 20 that it is just chuck full of um, maybe they're doing a season of these rewards or whatever the season objectives, whatever they are. Let's say they're like attainable for, let's say a guy like me, a gold one weekend league player. I can do them in a week and a half and complete them all and get like 450k packs. I'm going hard on those. I'm going to spend time doing those because it's going to be worth it. It's really going to be worth it. So that's the thing you're going to have to gauge with this. And of course, if they're tradable versus untradable. This is kind of like when we see a new SBC come out and we evaluate it in those first couple moments of seeing it. Is the card worth it? Are the requirements worth it for the card? Is the price worth it? What are the pack rewards from this? How is this gonna affect the market in terms of substitute goods and uh, link investments? And of course, in, is it just doesn't make sense at the time of the game? We're gonna have to evaluate these uh, season objectives in the same way. We're going to have to evaluate them in the same way as these come out into FIFA 20. So I just want to make this video today talking about that stuff because if these are a hit at the beginning of the game and we have people that are able to go on the game and get 50k packs within the first five days of playing FIFA, and I'm talking like a lot of people, then that's going to be a big time market mover upper, if that's proper English. That's going to move the market up a lot because... 50k packs, I mean, you guys have seen it. How many of you guys remember the Marcus Alonso Europa League SBC that came out this year that had a 50k pack and the market went wild on those days because that SBC was cheap, it was very doable, and they just they were basically giving out a free 50k pack because it's a Marcus Alonso upgradable item that's going to progress through their Europa League run last year. So, so many people wanted to do it. It's a solid card already. And it had the upgrade potential, and there was a 50k pack. I think the SBC costed like maybe 70 or 80k, maybe 100k when the card first came out. And you got a 50k pack and like a 35k pack and a good card. So that's going to be the type of thing where is if they give something really good out for these SBCs in terms of pack value and stuff like that, everybody's going to be all over it, and it's going to be a big time market impact for stuff like that. Now, I'm, you're probably wondering, how do you know it's gonna happen when those packs go on the market? What is gonna happen when a lot of packs are opened on the market? I wanna talk about that in a video soon as well when we have pack openings, especially early in the game. What's gonna happen from those, like with a squad battle rewards or with maybe the first division rivals rewards and planning out some of those times and kinda of looking at the market and seeing like what can you do in those times to make some coins and to possibly uh, take advantage of some prices 
in those markets. So stay tuned for that video here in a couple days. But if you enjoyed this one, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions about season objectives. I will answer them the best as I can. And watch out this week for more um, information on season objectives from content creators that were at the capture event in Amsterdam last weekend. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thanks for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.